Hello, beautiful people of YouTube. Beautiful people. I feel like I have to sing that song. Um, I am outside of Starbucks because I probably never start a vlog if I'm not outside of Starbucks. Technically, I start the vlog outside of Starbucks because the line is usually 14 cars long. So I have nothing else to do. Everybody checked all my social. So anyways, ugh, I'm shedding hair. It's all over me. Thank God you guys can't see. <laughs> anyway, I am craving, I wanted a Diet Coke, but then I'm like, why am I doing that to myself? It's so horrible for you. Sometimes you just really want it. And today I was like, don't be bad. Don't be naughty. And then I already had two espresso shots at home. So I'm not really feeling coffee. And then I was like, ooh, a peach green tea sounds so good. Unsweetened from Starbucks, it's so good. But honestly, I have not moved. I've already sat here for maybe like five minutes and I still haven't moved. I haven't even ordered yet. And anyway, I'm on my way to, um, where am I going? Oh, Zion School, <laughs> it's like brain fart. There's like a shadow on my face. It's not bad contour, guys. I didn't contour that part. Mm -mm, that ain't my work. Anyways, I'm on the way. Oh, I'm moving. Yay. Almost moving. Um, no, I'm not. That car just looks like he's about to leave line. I think he's pissed. <laughs> Anyways, I am on my way to Zion's school. He has a holiday party today, a Christmas party. And I'm so excited to go because I technically couldn't get into any other party, like their Thanksgiving party. They had like, I don't know, they had a few other parties earlier on in the year. And the only way I'm allowed in is if I have a volunteer badge. In order to get a volunteer badge, I have to have like three clearances and it took me a while to get one of them for some reason. And ooh, this lady's leaving. <laughs> Everyone's leaving. Something's getting held up. Hold on one second. Did she even order yet? I'm so confused. This is so exciting. The drama. Hold on. Oh, my eyes. I will be right with you. I got my clearances and I'm good to go. I got my badge printed. I look really not cute, but <laughs> so now I can come and go into the school as I please. Well, not as I please, but <laughs> whenever they have events. And I can like volunteer for different games and stuff. I'm actually doing a game. Hold on. I. Oof. I'm such a corny mother. I'm doing the um oh no, this is this is not good. <laughs> feels really nice though. Kind of feels like I'm in Mexico right now. Hold on. <sighs> they just gave me a free tea. I got a venti. It's this is almost four dollars. And I pulled up and the lady's like, you don't have to pay today because we understand that you guys had to wait long in line. I'm like, are they giving out free coffee to, to all the 10 cars that were behind me? Because that's really sweet. I mean, it's, it's going to taste even better knowing that it's free. I am aware that the lighting is getting worse and worse and worse as the video progresses. But it's just that time of the day and every angle is like litty. <laughs> litty, but not the right litty. I was saying I signed up to do like a little game. It's an M&M guessing jar. And obviously, self-explanatory, the kids need to guess how many M&Ms are in the jar. And it's a lot more than it looks like. <laughs> Taras tried to guess and he was like, when I say he was way off, I mean like he was way off like two different scales. So the kids are gonna struggle a little here. <laughs> Ooh, that girl has a really cute Canada goose jacket. I have like five minutes to kill, so I thought I'll just talk your ear off since Alina's with Gana and I can't call her. Well, I can call her, but it's like rude to just talk to her for like four hours straight like we usually do if her husband's home. Like, that's like a no-no. We know the rules. We don't do that when our husbands are home. We behave. December has been so beyond busy for us. I honestly don't remember the last time that I've been so busy in my life. Like, it's been wild. And I know that everybody's busy during the holiday season, I get it. It's the holiday season. What kind of vlog is it if I don't break out and like song or dance? You'll have a big fat back, back, back. If I don't know the lyrics, then just don't sing it, Diana. Just don't do it. I understand that there are parties to throw. There are all these like school recitals. There are school parties like today. There are the gifts. Oh, I'm not even gonna get started every year ends up being so crazy and I 
I'm not one of those that like preaches, oh my gosh, Christmas shouldn't be about the presents. Well, it is. Like, it's not, but it is. There's, that's a huge part if you have kids and if you have like uh, cousins or your siblings have kids and you're buying each other gifts. Like, it's not the reason for the holiday, but it's definitely a big part of Christmas. And I feel like it ends up being more stressful in the days leading up to the holiday. I'm glad at least Christmas Day and Christmas Eve are like, okay, it's not like stressful because all of the hustle and bustle is kind of settled. But I honestly hate that every December and even part of November is just kind of focused on gathering all the gifts. It's like, all right, guys, move it, move it. Who else do we have? Dads, what are we gonna get dads? Should we get another sweater? I don't know. Y'all know what I'm saying. I feel like it's just starting to focus a little bit too much on making sure you're getting everybody's gift on time and you find the best deal and you wrap it in the cutest wrapping and then it ends up being like this whole this whole thing. I guess that's just what comes with Christmas. You kind of get used to it, or I guess you don't, because every every single year I'm like, all right, I'm going to try better next Christmas. I'm going to be more organized, and I never am, ever. That's my little Christmas rant. And also this year I'm hosting a New Year's party at my house, so I feel like I'm focusing a lot on that too. So maybe it's all these things going on that make me a little bit more like, <sighs> But I do like being a little bit under pressure, I have to say. It helps me get things done. I'm very productive. I wake up early. I cross things off my list, like constantly, constantly, constantly doing something. It makes me feel like needed, I guess, or it makes me, I don't know, I have like goals. Yo, I got goals. Ooh, I have a package from Zara coming in today. And I ordered so many different dresses, like really glam, glitzy dresses for New Year's. So I'll show you guys that if it's in, hopefully there's no delay because it's the holiday season. Here we go again. <laughs> All right, seriously, I'm gonna go in. So it's now the next day. I ended up just having a lot of errands to run after Zion's um, Christmas party. So anyways, I'm getting the kids ready to go out the door. Actually, just Zion, he has school. He has half day today, and then he has a long 12-day break. Hallelujah, thank God for Christmas season. I have to put something on my lips because yeah, I have like, hey baby. It's okay guys, don't touch my makeup please. Oh my goodness. Um, here's a hack, if you forget to take off your foundation on your lips like I do all the time, you just take a chapstick, or a lipstick, or a lip balm obviously, but chapstick, and I apply it a billion times. I rub it into my lips and then it looks like a nude lipstick. You're welcome. I have like no time to make a latte, but I'm gonna make a latte and take it to the bus stop with me. I always do that. Someone's got the stinky blues not in the best mood this morning. He keeps asking if we can miss the bus. No, we cannot. I have my coffee. I made it in time, it's like piping hot, if you can tell. You wanna miss the bus? Yeah. But you have your sing-along today. I don't wanna do it, I wanna stay home. Look how cute you look. He has his little present for his teacher for Christmas. Come on. Come on, cranky pants. Tina's coming after school. His auntie no, she's not. and bestie. Yes, she is. She's coming to stay with us for two weeks. We're super excited. Noah's way ahead of us. Zion's on the bus, and I wanted to quickly show you guys this bouquet that Taras came home with yesterday. Super, super random. I was supposed to go run errands with him, and then he's like, oh, I'll pick you up in like 10 minutes. And then he literally walks in with the biggest, most beautiful bouquet. Like, I feel like you guys can't even really register how massive it is. It's like a typical anniversary slash huge birthday bouquet. And he just brings it like it's no biggie. How cute. I have to brag a little bit, right? So freaking good. All right, I wanted to show you guys real quick what I bought at Zara. Disclaimer, I bought a couple of dresses. This is just the way that I roll. Sorry, one second. Um, this is the way that I roll because I am the biggest lover of online shopping. I order a plethora of items and I try them on and then I figure out what's staying and what's going. Sometimes all of it stays, sometimes all of it goes. Um, I just, I love visually seeing things online 
on the models and just like I can just type in I know that I want like a silky dress so I'll type in silk dress or beige silk dress and then you have thousands of items that pop up whereas when you go to the mall and you say listen I want to go to Zara and find a dress you really don't have that many options sometimes they don't have everything in stock I love that online you pretty much have everything this is for <laughs> New Year's okay I needed to find a dress that was like bedazzled just something that's not me typically i'm definitely a little bit more muted um but it's new year's you know and we're hosting and i feel like it needs to be like glitz and glam so this came in last night i did buy a couple options we'll see the only thing is i ordered another dress from misguided and that's coming in i believe on monday or tuesday so um i don't have it to show you guys but that's definitely my like number one choice it's so beautiful i hope to god that it works out because that's just that's the one that i envisioned in my head and these are all just kind of like extras so let's get started before i talk your ear off okay guys don't get scared okay this is so, so not typical of me i'm into the look it's just not something that i typically gravitate towards but this is obviously sequin dresses are like the new year's staple this one's super cute it might be too big Maybe not. Maybe it just seems like it. it's a medium. No, it's not going to be too big. Um, I'm not going to try it on right now because I literally have no time. I have to leave in like 30 minutes, but it's super cute, super simple. It's a little bit lower cut than I would like, but honestly, it's like you win some, you lose some online. And I love that it's like long sleeves. Love the color. It's like not your typical sequin. There's a lot of like this copper orangey tone with blue. So, super cute. It's $70. Kind of sucks to spend that much on a dress when t I don't think I'll ever wear it again. It's like, sorry, honey. <laughs> this one is wild, okay? I saw it last night when it came in and I was like, whoa, this is a lot more than I thought. It has a lot of green and turquoise in it. I don't know if that's even picking up like it's super cute not gonna lie all of these are adorable it's just hard for me to commit to something like this it's cute it is cute i might actually love this one we'll see it's kind of ruched i don't know if you guys can tell like in one little spot here so yeah super cute this one was also 70 69.90 um, let me see. What else did I get? There's two more. Ooh. This one is not what I expected. It's online. It looked super, super cute on the model. And I thought like this is maybe one dress that I could technically rewear in the future because the colors are not super in your face. But it is such cheap, see-through quality. I can literally see the camera through here. Um, and it's not as structured. I thought it would be a super, super structured, beautiful dress that I can wear especially in the summertime because it's like short sleeved i can't even i got it in a large thinking that it's a very structured like tight dress it's not and this was also 70. it's hard to explain what it looks like because oh, let me see i don't think i'll be able to show you guys or give it justice bottom line is it kind of crosses over your chest and there are some open cutouts on the side i think that's super cute but it's super flimsy. Definitely, like, not the best quality. Yeah. When am I done? He's asking because the thing is, Noah comes up and he whispers. I'll be like, Noah, can you not talk? Just give me five minutes to record one part, and then you can ask me all the questions in the world. And he's like, Mama. Mama. I'm like, yes, sweetie. When are you done? <laughs> He's like, this is your last thing. Yeah, this is the last thing. Let me show them real quick. So next is this black sequin, no, black velvety type of dress. This is definitely a little bit more me because it's black. And it's very ruched everywhere. Love that it's the velvet style. This feels the most expensive out of all the dresses that I got. And it's the cheapest one. This one's 50 bucks. I got it in the medium. Medium, medium. Got it in the medium. Got it in the medium. It's got like padded shoulders and it's super like form fitting all the way down, which is definitely my style. It's a little bit longer than the other dresses, which is nice too. And I love that it's long sleeve 
and it has guys i'm sorry i'm the worst at showing stuff on 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 the camera but do you guys see how bedazzled these shoulders are i think this is so pretty i love that it's not it's enough glam but not in your face where you only wear it once and then it's like memorized forever in everybody's minds you know when you wear like a dress like this everyone's like oh yeah diana wore that on new year's eve and then it's like any other time I'll wear it, everyone's like, she already wore that dress like seven times. <laughs> These are very loud, loud dresses, so we will see. The other one that I have coming in is definitely more muted. It's very glam, but it's like a beige color, a lot of beige sequins. It's so pretty. Maybe I'll show you guys online on my phone. Yeah, I'll show you in a sec, but I like that this one is just, oh. Thanks, Noah. I love that it's just simple, but enough to feel like glam and bedazzled. I keep saying glam and bedazzled, but you guys know what I mean. It's like super fancy, but not too in your face. Like this is such a cute dress to rewear. You could wear it to a wedding. Oh, another thing is it's a very, very plungy like neckline or chest line. It's very plungy. So if you're not into that, this dress ain't for you, boo. Here's the dress. I am obsessed. And she reminds me that I need to self tan before I wear it because she's like dark skinned and it looks so pretty on her skin. It just kind of breaks up the dress a little. Love how glam it is. Love that it comes with this gorgeous belt as well. It just kind of ties in the whole look together. So I'm excited to get it and hopefully it looks just as pretty on me as it does on her. Here's my little pumpkin who wants to watch TV so badly. So I'm gonna end the vlog here so this little boy can get what he wants. <laughs> Noah, are you supposed to be in school today? Yeah. Did mommy let you stay home with me? Mm-hmm. I just have too much to do. Sometimes it's not worth me dropping him off for three hours, you know, just to pick him up and not be able to get anything done. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Noah, say thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. <laughs> we'll see you soon, bye.